Hey guys, Gathering Magic back again, and just wanted to do a video on the amount of cards that are on the marketplace. Now I've talked about this, Dwayne has talked about it, some other YouTubers, about, you know, are there too many cards? Are cards in oversupply? You know, Chaos Legion, oh, it was printed into Oblivion. But the one thing that I've been talking about for quite a while is the fact there really aren't as many cards on the market as you may think. Um, we talk about the new player experience, we talk about getting uh, new players into the game, those new players that come into the game, of course, are going to want to buy cards. Now, some of them are going to want to start out by renting, but we have to agree that there's going to be a certain percentage of players that come in, they're going to enjoy the game, maybe they rent it first, and maybe it's a small number, but there's some people that say, you know what, I really like this game, this seems like a lot of fun, I want to max out a deck. You know, I want to max out some cards, um, you know, I don't want to mess around buying individual cards and then, you know, combining them and all that. I simply want to go to the market, go to max level card, buy it, be done. So how many cards are actually out there? So we're going to go through this set by set. So starting with alpha, in the alpha set there's 59 cards in the base set, not including promos. You've got 20 commons, 20 rares, 10 epics, and 9 legendaries. Now just for the regular foil alpha cards, there's only 9 out of the 20 cards that have max copies available. So if we go to the market, we go to Alpha, we go to Common, we go to Regular Foil, all levels. So there are 20, so there's 20 different Commons that are available. Go to Max Level. There's only nine out of the 20 that even have a single copy available. And as you can see, most of these are all single copies, except for Rexy, there's two available. Now granted, some of these prices are extremely high, most players aren't going to have this much money even coming in, you know, to just drop $600 on a max level Alpha Common. But just, just throwing this out there, there's not that many. If we move on to rares, there's only two rares that are maxed out out of a total of 20. Look at epics. Epics, you've got 10 different epics. Maxed out, you actually have 7 of the 10 have a max copy available. So one thing that I thought that was interesting from Alpha is it's almost easier to get the epics and the legendaries than it is to get the commons and rares, especially the rares. And then of course gold foil alphas of course being so rare. Um, 59 cards in the set, there's hardly any, but there are at least half, just over half the commons that are available in max level. Moving on to beta, beta was a little bit larger set, um, 79 cards. They did add uh, neutral cards to the set, so that's why it's a little bit larger than alpha. Other than that, most of the cards were reprints. So out of the 79 cards in beta, only 19 out of 24 has even a single copy of a common at max level that you can purchase. Same for rares, 19 out of 24. Um, epics, almost all of them, 15 out of 17, have at least one copy that's max level. And beta legendaries, you can buy um, any of them at max level. So let's go to beta. Let's look at beta core. Let's look at legendary. So you've got 15 legendaries, max level. But you have five, one, two, two. So there is a handful, but not very many. As you can see, some of these are individual copies. Uh, looking at gold foil betas, of course gold foil is being harder to come by. There's only 2 of 24 that have a max copy available, 5 of 24 for the rares, and no epics or legendaries. So if you went on the market right now and you look at gold foil, you look at all levels, there's only 63 cards in the set that even have a gold foil available. And then if you look at max level, and I'm not sorting by rarity, this is the entire set of uh, beta that has gold foil max level available. You can see there's only a couple commons and a handful of rares, and only one of each. Okay, you can say, well, those are the older cards. What about something that's a little bit newer? Okay, well, let's look at orb. So let's look at orb. Let's look at all levels. So Essence Orb has 21 cards in the set. Well, let me sort by regular. 
I don't think it's that big. Nope, 12 cards. So there's 12 cards in the orb set, you know, just a handful of cards. So out of the 12, only half of them have at least one max copy. And as you can see, most of these are ones. There's four copies of the Mermaid Healer, four copies of Corrupted Pegasus. Other than that, there's only a single copy of four of the cards. And then if you look at the gold foil, all levels, there's only nine out of the 12 that even have a single gold foil available. Max level, there's one, Molten Ogre is the only one in all of Orb. Moving on to Untamed. Untamed, of course, being one of the core sets, um, 84 cards available. Only 18 out of the 24 cards have um, a common that is max level. Only 22 of 24, so almost all of them are the rares. 12 of 17 of the epics and 15 out of the 19 have a max level uh, legendary for you to buy. Gold foil, of course, it goes down. I was kind of surprised there's only 3 of 24 gold foil commons that are maxed, especially when you consider there's 10 of 24 rares, because I would think there would be more commons available maxed out than rares. But that's not the case, at least not currently. Uh, 2 of 17 of the epics gold foil are available, and 9 of the 19 gold foil are available for legendary. Looking at the reward cards from Untamed, um, there was 36 cards in that set. And for the um, regular foil commons, there's only 5 of 14 that have a single max copy available. Uh, 5 of 10 rares, 4 of 7 epics, and 4 out of the 5 legendaries. But then you get to the reward card, the gold foil, almost none. There's one epic and two legendaries that have copies available. Uh, dice being another uh, small set, only 25 cards. So you can see here, four of six of the commons have a max level. All the rares have at least one, two out of three of the epics and eight out of 10 of legendaries. Gold foil, there's almost none. There's three gold foil. Let's take a look at that. So let's go to dice. Let's look at gold foil. And then let's look at max level. So max level for dice, you have Kralis, you have Cadium, you have Cthulhu, so those three. Then you have, what, four of the summoners and one common. That's all that's available for gold foil. So I need to update this. So this has changed just in the two hours since I did the video. So there are four of six for gold and one, but still not very many at all on the market. And now everyone's favorite, the one that everyone says is just printed to oblivion, is not worth anything, is Chaos Legion. So let's look at Chaos Legion. First of all, let's look at just the reward cards because we know the reward cards are just printed into oblivion, right? So reward cards, all levels. Look, there's over a million, 1.3, 1.4 million. Just way too many cards out there. But if we go to common, and we hit max level, you know, there's a fair amount of the commons. But then look at the soulbound ones. Now, of course, these are newer. These ones did cost you uh, DEC to unbind. But still, players are going to want these cards. These cards are desirable. These cards are powerful, especially for being common. So you can see there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven available. Out of the 12. So seven out of 12 commons, five out of the 12 rares are available. And these are important because these contain the summoners. So the only summoners available are fire, earth, life and death so there's no dragon summoner there's no uh, water summoner max level and then for the epics and legendaries you can see here um, for the gold foil chaos soulbound reward cards man i don't know if there's ever going to be any that are that are unbound zero of 12. I don't think there's going to be one simply because I think it costs close to $200 to unbind one. Uh, let's move on to Rift Watchers. So Rift Watchers, 43 card set. 
Let's look at commons. So you've got 13 commons in the set, but even the commons, there's only 10 out of the 13 that have a max copy available. And so you can see there's not very many of any of these except for the refugee, there's seven copies available. We go to the rares, 12 rares in the set, some great cards here. 11 of the 12 have max copies, but you can see only one Queen of Crows, only two Corsair Boisson, only four Tinderlocks. There's not very many of these either. Moving on to the epics, uh, the summoners, you know, if people come in, you know, especially new players, they, they're not going to be like, oh, these summoners suck. They're going to be like, oh, summoners, max level. Cool, I want to buy one. Okay, five out of the six uh, have one. One copy of Fernhart, three copies of Ilthane, even Dalin, you know, there's only four copies of him. Move on to legendary, 12 legendary cards, max level. There's only eight of the 12 that have max level copies, and you can see they're all individual, except for Runemancer Kai has two, and Ra has two, and then that's it. And then finally, if we look at Rebellion and Rebellion Reward Cards, now this is the newest set. This set is in print. This set is currently available. 29 commons. There's only 17 of the 29 commons that have one max level copy available, one or more. 12 of the 29 cards don't even have a max copy available on the market. Rares are almost as bad. 16 out of 28 have a max copy available. 12 cards, there's not a max copy available. 8 of 14 for the epics, 15 out of 22 for the legendaries, and then for the gold foil, um, even less. 6 of 29 have a gold foil. Now, there's going to be some players like me who like to go for the gold foils because we want to get that 10% bonus. You know, there's not very many out there. Same with the rares, 6 out of 28, 3 out of 14, 2 out of 22 for the legendaries. And for the Rebellion reward cards and gold foil reward cards, of course, there's not going to be hardly any of these maxed on the market just yet. You know, people are still working on the decks. Um, you know, a lot of people are keeping them, not putting them on the market. So I expected these to pretty much be zero, but there are two max level rares uh, available on the marketplace. But yep, just wanted to go through this with you guys and just kind of show you that, you know, even though there may be a lot of cards like printed, what's actually on the marketplace is kind of few and far between, you know, especially for sets like Chaos Legion, which, you know, people think that, you know, oh, there's just way too much of it. Yeah, there's a lot in circulation, but there's not a lot on the market. And when it comes right down to it, it doesn't matter how many cards are printed, how many cards are available for new players to actually own, you know, so they can buy their collections, you know, start growing their deck and start becoming, you know, part of part of our player base. You know, they need cards to buy. So just wanted to share this information with you guys. Hope you found it useful. Maybe this changes uh, your perception on if there are too many cards. If there aren't, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And as always, until next time, stay the course, keep on forging, have fun. I'll see you soon. Take care.